Uh, okay, hi everyone, my name is uh, Federico. I'm a final year PhD student in Sapienza and uh, Sentai. Today I'm going to talk about uh, how uh, groups, political and demographic uh, group, shape and uh, modify the discussion on, on Reddit. Uh, so I'm going to start uh, with something that we know. So social media completely change how uh, we uh, communicate. Uh, they foster connectivity, they foster access of information, but actually, regardless of the topic, what we usually see are basically echo chambers. So regardless of the topic, even in topics where there is scientific uh, consensus, we see these uh, kind of divisions. And uh, then in the community, in the scientific community, this is a hot topic, but actually the causes, the limitation, uh, uh, the extent of the, um, of the echo chambers, are no, there is no clear consensus about them, especially the causes. So actually there is a kind of uh, metapolarization, so the, uh, the discussion about echo chambers is itself in, a sen in some way polarized in the inside the scientific community. So basically, our hypothesis uh, is the following. In the context of political opinions, we think that uh, a spectrum which is flat, left to right, is not enough. That is why we consider the political compass, which is a 2D model. Uh, so there are two axes, the economic axis, which uh, uh, goes from left to right, and it's about uh, basically the market. It goes from uh, free market from the right to uh, regulated market. And then on the y-axis, we have the, uh, basically the personal freedom. So from libertarian to authoritarian. So our research question is the following. How do uh, groups, political group and demographic group, interact and shape the discussion on Reddit? So do we expect some uh, conflict between these groups or do we expect some affinity be within uh, between this group? So in three steps, we are going to try to merge this, the two sides of the, this uh, debate. And uh, I'm going to start with the collection of uh, ideologies. So we collected di data from uh, Reddit from 2020 to 2022, uh, especially from uh, two uh, subreddits, the political compass and the political compass memes. We collected more than 1 million comments from the first and more than 22 uh, million comments from the latter. Uh, but the main thing is that we collected uh, the flares so flares are basically the, some tags that add information to the users. And in these subreddits, these uh, uh, flares are basically the projection of the user opinion into the uh, political compass uh, space. So for example, libertarian center and uh, lib uh, libertarian left. So just to give an overview of the composition of the data, we have uh, on the upper part the number of users, on the bottom part the number of comments. Uh, we have a lot of data for each class. Uh, the libertarian one is the one with higher uh, volume, let's say. And the number of comments are usually one order of magnitude higher than the number of users. Okay, so the point is that now we have for each user, it's uh, self-declaration, political self-declaration. Now we want to add more information and we want to retrieve, uh, we want to infer some demographics about the users. So we used a two-step approach from the literature. It's a, a nature's paper from 2021 from uh, Waller and uh, Anderson. So the first step, uh, we count the comments. For each user, we consider the 10K most popular subreddits. And for each of them, we count the number of comments of the users. So we can associate each user with a vector. So for example, here, yeah, Ask Men, Ask Women, and Forza Horizon, which is a video game. Second step. From their paper, we collected basically the embeddings from the, uh, for the subreddits and for what they call demographic axis. So basically, we can project each subreddit into the uh, demographic axis, here the gender axis. And so basically, we have a score for each subreddit into this axis. For example, here it goes from female uh, to, to male. Then we banalize these uh, values. Of course, we can project the user into this axis and we, get, uh, we can get a binary feature for uh, each user, so female or male. 
This can be extended to other features, such as other demographic axes, such as age and economic status. And of course, I want to remark that this is a limitation. So for example, in age, I'm going to consider old and young. Of course, this is a limitation, but it was enough for us to uh, answer the research question. And moreover, when we say, say old and young, we mean uh, actually older than the average user on Reddit. So it's relative to the user base. OK, so we have now self de declarations and we have uh, the demographics of the users. And now we want to look at uh, the interaction between these groups. OK, let's consider an example, user A uh, that is commenting on a post of user B. We call the first a source node and the second one a target node. Uh, the source node has an opinion X and the target node has an opinion Y. And basically here we can uh, uh, compute the empirical odds to observing a comment from the class X to the class Y. And we want to uh, see if these uh, numbers are uh, statistically significant. So we compare these with uh, uh, an interaction by chance. So basically, we can uh, uh, measure the, the odds in the null model. And so the probability to get an interaction that a user in the class Y receives a comment from any other user, regardless of the class, is basically the in degree in the interaction graph of the class Y. So we compute the odds ratio. A value larger than 1 means that these in the interaction is more likely than, uh, than in the null model, than by chance. Uh, and so these are the results. In the rows, there is the, uh, the, um, the class of the source node, and in the columns, uh, the class of the target node. On the left, the social axis of the political compass. Uh, on the right, the economic axis of the political compass. So we can look at the diagonal. And so in the diagonal, we see that uh, an interaction between users within the same class is more likely than by chance. So basically, this is an, an information of uh, homophily. So users from libertarian class interact more uh, likely with users from the same class. This is true for the social axis, while in the economic axis, we see actually the opposite. So users from the left class are going uh, to interact more with users from the right uh, uh, opinion spectrum. Uh, this is more likely than, than just. So this is a huge difference with respect to the uh, literature. We can do the same for demographics. And again, we see that uh, there is homophily in demographics. So young uh, are going to talk, uh, talk more with other youngers, uh, except for uh, the young rich uh, relationship. And uh, we did this also considering uh, a logistic regression model with additional uh, features, such as popularity, activity of the users, and the results were basically consistent. OK, now we saw that there is some homophily and there is some heterophily. But are these people uh, discussing or are they fighting, basically? So we consider the Google Perspective API. So given a text, I can get the uh, toxicity level of the text, which is basically saying uh, how many people uh, among a pool of people would consider the text as toxic. Uh, and again, we, I can measure the average to toxicity of uh, the text and then compare them with a null model. So basically reshuffling the edge of the interaction graph while keeping the degree sequences of the uh, the in degrees and the out degree uh, consistent. And uh, OK, uh, again, the heat maps, uh, what we observe is actually when users from different class interact, there will be uh, some uh, homophily or heterophily, but in both cases, there is higher toxicity than by chance. OK, so finally, the take home message is the following. Uh, if you consider uh, the political compass, so a 2D uh, model for the opinion uh, of people, you can have the same time uh, affinity, so homophily, and conflict, uh, heterophily, depending on the axis, the social axis, the first, and the economic axis as the second. And you can have also homophily in demographics. Uh, we are already working uh, to improve the uh, demographic inference, and we plan to work more on uh, other uh, uh, topics. 
And uh, if you have questions, you want to collaborate, uh, you want to improve the work, uh, just send me a message and uh, it would be great.